We've got a clinical case. We've got a, we've got a clinical. Twenty nine year old woman, G two P one, presents for her six week postpartum checkup. Uh huh. Six week postpartum checkup during pregnancy. She was diagnosed with gestational diabetes mellitus and management weight diet. Okay. She delivered a healthy baby at term. Thanks God. Currently she feels well. Okay. What is the question? Which of the following is the best next step in her management to reduce future health risk? Good question. Option A, reassure her that glucose testing is unnecessary since gestational diabetes mellitus results after delivery. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Uh, option B, perform 75 gram oral glucose tolerance to assess for persistent diabetes. Mm -hmm. Begin lifelong metformin therapy immediately. Advise her to avoid future pregnancy. So definitely not. So correct, uh, good question actually. Uh, perform a 75 gram oral glucose, gram, gram, not milligram, gram oral glucose tolerance, not test OGTT, yeah? to assess for persistent diabetes. Actually, my belief is gestational diabetes usually resolves after birth, but it's a very strong predictor of future type, type 2 diabetes, future, even in two decades, for example. Up to 50% of women with gestational diabetes develop type 2 diabetes within 10, uh, 20 years. Remember that. Therefore, all women should undergo postpartum glucose testing and regular follow-up. No, uh, postpartum reg glucose testing means after 6, 12 weeks and regular follow-up every 1, 2, 3 years. It depends. Lifestyle interventions, diet, exercise, weight control, crucial. Paramount importance and reduce the risk. That's it. Life, that's it. Life is real, really simple. Now simple. <laughs> yes. Uh, Confucius said, life is really simple. But we insist on, on making it, i.e. life, complicated. Huh? Good. Stay blessed, my beloveds.